Once you done with your answer, you are supposed to write conclusion. Conclusion is what out of these three, which uh, which is ten thousand equal shares we have of rupees hundred is ten thousand into hundred. How much it is? Ten lakh. Now, so it will be how much? This will be nil and this will be nil. What is the total actually? Ten thousand plus ten thousand. It is twenty thousand. Earlier old we have equity. For this calculation we don't take equity. Earlier we have equity. The existing one. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecture in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session three of your topic called financial management. This is your unit three, and we are discussing your capital structure. Now, under capital structure, what we are going to discuss? You know that the EBIT and all, so we will work out on those problems. We'll go for the next slide. Problem. Now, so in this problem, we have like a company had currently an equity capital consisting. Rupees ten thousand equity shares. How many equity shares we have? We have ten thousand equity shares. Ten thousand equity shares we have of rupees hundred is ten thousand into hundred. How much it is? Ten lakh. Now we got ten lakh for expansion and considering three alternative. We have three alternatives here. Alternative one, two, as well as third one. What is the first one? To issue ten thousand equity shares of hundred each, ten thousand debentures of hundred, ten thousand preference shares of rupees hundred. Now, in this ten thousand nine percent debentures. While calculating, you should calculate nine percent. For ten thousand ten percent preference shares. While calculating dividend, you are supposed to calculate ten percent. Now, remember. Wherever we write preference, wherever we write equity, wherever we write debenture. For debenture holders, always interest. For preference shareholders, it is always dividend. Equity shareholders, nothing we will give. Why? Because we are calculating earning per share. Now, the company's EBIT. What is EBIT? Earning before interest and tax. We can call it as. Three lakh eighty. If you invest this ten lakh additional ten lakh, your earning will be how much? Three lakh eighty thousand every year. Assuming thirty percent tax, compute EPS. EPS stands for earning per share. EPS stands for earning per share. Now solution part. Now solution part is very simple. The heading must be computation of earning per share. Computation of earning per share. In this, we have alternative one, alternative two, and alternative three. Total three alternative. First one. Ten thousand equity of hundred each. Now, first one, ten thousand equity of hundred. How much it is? Ten lakh. Hope you are clear. This is your option number one. What is your option number two? Option number two is ten thousand nine percent debentures of rupees hundred each. Now, ten thousand. Into hundred, so it will be how much? Ten lakh. Remember, it is nine percent. Your debenture is nine percent. Why I have taken equity plus equity plus in the sense earlier old we have equity. For this calculation, we don't take equity. Earlier we have equity, the existing one, and the third one your preference is similar. Ten thousand. Multiplied with hundred, it will be ten lakh. What is the percentage actually? The percentage is we have ten percent. So your equity is over. Second alternative over. Third alternative also over. Now, 
we'll go one by one. First will be E B I T E B I T. What is the E B I T as per the question? As per the question, it is three lakh eighty thousand. Three lakh eighty thousand. Three lakh eighty thousand. Three lakh eighty thousand. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now second one minus interest minus interest. Interest is given to whom? Only to debenture holder. Do you have debenture holder? No. Do you have debenture holder? Yes. How much? Ten lakh. What is the percentage? Nine percent. Now this will be ten lakh. Into nine percent, it will be how much? Ten lakh into nine percent, it will be ninety thousand. But I'll calculate once. Ten lakh into nine percent, I got ninety thousand. Nil, ninety thousand and nil. What is your answer? This answer we call it as earning before tax. This will be three lakh eighty thousand. Your three lakh eighty plus ninety, two lakh ninety thousand. And this will be three lakh eighty thousand. Hope any doubt up to this? Hope there is no doubt. Now, up to this we have completed. What is the next one? Minus tax. Minus tax. What is the tax? It is at Thirty percent. On what we should calculate on this value? Three lakh eighty thousand into thirty by hundred. I'll check whether it is thirty percent. Yes, it is thirty percent. On that value, we are supposed to calculate thirty percent. Now, three lakh eighty thousand we have into thirty percent. I got one lakh fourteen thousand. One lakh fourteen thousand. Similarly, two lakh ninety thousand into thirty percent, eighty-seven thousand. Three lakh eighty thousand into thirty percent. I got one lakh fourteen thousand. One lakh fourteen thousand. Now I suppose to minus. This we call it as earning after tax. I don't have space, so earning after tax. So how much? Three lakh eighty thousand minus double one four. I got two lakh sixty six thousand. Two lakh sixty six thousand. This one. Two lakh ninety thousand minus eighty seven thousand. I got two lakh three thousand. This is. Three lakh eighty thousand minus double one four. Yes, I got two lakh sixty six thousand. Two lakh sixty six. Hope up to this, no doubt. Now, so up to this we have completed. We got earning after tax, or else income available to preference as well as equity shareholder. Now, next it will be dividend minus. Dividend. How to calculate dividend in this? The dividend part will be given to whom? Only for preference shareholder. Now, equity, equity, and preference. What is the preference? Ten percent. So, ten percent on what value? So, we have ten thousand into hundred, ten lakh. On ten lakh, you are supposed to find out ten percent. See. Ten lakh into ten by hundred. It will be first person no, second person no, third person yes. One lakh. Ten lakh into ten percent. I got one lakh. Now you are supposed to minus two lakh sixty six thousand minus nil. It will be two lakh sixty six. Two lakh three thousand minus zero, so it will be two lakh three thousand. 
टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस वन लैख सो इट विल बी वन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड नाउ वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ई पी एस नाउ ई पी एस इज इक्वल टू नेट इनकम अवेलेबल टू इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर यू आर सपोज टू राइट नेट इनकम अवेलेबल टू इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स यू विल गेट अर्निंग पर शेयर नाउ आई विल कैलकुलेट हियर व्हाट आर द नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स लाइक नाउ ऑप्शन 1 option 2 and option 3 in this first one existing second one new so heading is computation of number of equity shares computation of number of equity shares now so existing one how much existing one see in your question they have given 10000 equity shares those are existing now it will be 10000 10000 10000 so new equity shares how much you have new equity shares Like, do you have equity shares? Yes. How many equity shares? Ten thousand. Now it will be ten thousand addition. Ten thousand debentures we have no equity. Ten thousand preference shares you have no equity. Hope you are clear. Yes. So it will be how much? This will be nil, and this will be nil. What is the total actually? Ten thousand plus ten thousand. It is twenty thousand. This will be ten thousand. This will be ten thousand. Any doubt up to this? No doubt. This will be total number of equity shares. So we take twenty thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. This will be twenty thousand. Ten thousand and ten thousand. Now, what will be your answer? Two lakh three thousand divided by ten thousand. One lakh sixty six thousand divided by ten thousand. Two lakh sixty six thousand divided by twenty thousand. Now, if you divide, you will get number of uh, earning per share. Now, I'll calculate. Two lakh sixty six thousand divided by twenty thousand. I got thirteen point three. Thirteen point three. This is earning per share. Now two lakh three thousand divided by ten thousand. It will be twenty point three. Twenty point three. One lakh sixty six thousand divided by ten thousand. It is sixteen point six. Now, see if you go for your option one, you will get thirteen point three. Option two, twenty point three, and option three, you will get sixteen point six. Hope you are clear. Yes. Then your answer must be option three must be accepted. option 3 must be accepted due to due to higher e p s yes. due to higher e p s yes. hope you are clear once you done with your answer you are supposed to write conclusion conclusion is what out of these three which uh, which is higher so in this option 2 is higher not 3 option 2 is higher so because we will get 20.3 if you go with debenture hope you are clear yes this is all about your today's session now i'll go back to all the slides please take screenshot 
So this is your problem. The solution part one. Solution part two. So this is your working note. Yes. This is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So please work out at home. It is the easiest one and easily you can score in your examination. Thank you.